What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to Astray. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the playthrough so far. I most definitely am. Um, if you are, go ahead and give the video a like. And uh, if you're not subscribed, definitely uh, consider it. We're on the rooftops here. Big smiley face. Um, meowing attracts enemies. Can I get you guys to fall into the void? Oh, that's bad. Oh, snap. Dumb. Very dumb. Just taking the scenic route, apparently. way over there. Uh, where am I going exactly? A lot of uh, interesting moldy stuff over there. Uh, backtrack for a quick second. Trying to see if there's an alternative path. I absolutely missed twice. Wait, what is over here? City's full of neon, it wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day somebody lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But the people saw hope. Not long after, people started putting lots of lights on their homes. It was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. Can't climb that, huh? Interesting. I get the shopping cart. Can I get the shopping cart? No. Can I not climb the barrel? Okay. Ooh. No. Physics. Camera's off. I appreciate that there is a uh, bar there so I don't just roll off the edge. I wonder if there's a path over that from the barrel. little fuzz here is just a fearless thing. I don't know if I like the fact that there's a <laughs> save point right there. I 
don't see anything. Ooh. Huh. I almost wonder if I hacked the door again. jump on that fence maybe. Apparently I cannot. So back in the barrel we go. Rolling. Rolling. Meow from up here. Oh no. Those are just little egg pod things. Can I make it? Yeah, I know. This doesn't look good. Shoot. Where am I going? I think over directly at Just a sprints section. Oh, crap. Hack the door, it looks like. Yeah, because you need to do something with the barrel. Let's investigate a little bit further before we get to that point. Nico Corp. Well, thanks. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, the bacteria mutated, growing, eating more than trash. And now we have Zerks. 
humans. Great. Uh, I assume that's all that's over here. Okay. Oh, this is going to take a little bit of finagling. There's a box on both sides. So I've got to let them out, circle around. Close the gate. Basically need to get that barrel on the outside and them on the inside. Okay, so now I'm trapped in here. Quick. Great. We're gonna put our shield all the way to there. Open it. guys go. Oh, okay. Clearly I thought it was going to be far more complicated than that. Come on. There we go. Oh, crap. I mean, you guys can't jump, right? Uh, I don't see any Zergs, so we're good. Zergs. Not to be confused with Zergs. Just want to investigate before I start clicking switches. in circles and I had to sneeze. Oh. No, no. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't cover my mouth with that sneeze. Always cover your mouth when you sneeze. Things can jump. any danger here. Can I use some sheet music? 
I should probably use an energy drink every now and then, I guess. Since I have them. Such a pretty game. Do, do we have 5G now, or what? I have a bucket. Where are we going? See? They think the view is beautiful, too. I remember now, the city was meant to be a shelter. Oh, that can't be good. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Mankind built their shelter to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now that this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Whee! Cat in a bucket. The slums for two. Yo, Momo. I'm back and I'm clawing up your carpet. Oh, I want to hit the ball again. <laughs> Anyways. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. Took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna community there. I've locked the window, but the code to it is quite simple. It is. I like the fact that admin was in there. Uh, be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Looking around for more sheet music, real quick. Oh, I wanted to knock the plant off. Here's the lock for the window. The code was. It was an H, I think. Whoops, my bad. Let's try that again. And then there was an O, or was it a zero? Let's see. Good job. Momo was at the bar waiting for us. Not gonna lie, don't remember where the bar is. It's down near the bottom somewhere. Oh, right there. Look at that. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Can I... Oh, apparently I already got a vintage. Do you want something? No. No, no. We're good, Billy. Oh, he's patting a little stool for me. Does that make you feel better? Let me see if I can get this thing working. Got it. I see. Hello, can anyone hear me? 
Yes, we can hear you. We're from the slums. We're looking for a way out. Wait, is that you, Balthazar? Momo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes? We're safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous zerks everywhere. Sewers. Hello? Darn it, we've lost the same. Can't believe it. Balthazar is alive, and the others managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous part of the slums, but if Balthazar made it, there must be a way. Alright, to the sewers we go. You'll never get past the sewers, it's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially the little one. Many tried their luck in the past, it didn't end well. Anyways, I warned you, your business is none of my business. I appreciate the warning. You... <laughs> Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working with some new weapon to fight the Zergs. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc had built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outside. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must have been where he was working on it. There might be a Clue in Samus' apartment? Come on, follow me. Okay. Okay. Uh, where'd you go? Okay. <laughs> Can I rub up against your legs? Good thing I didn't have the, uh, the energy drinks. Don't give your cat energy drinks. I feel that goes without saying, but don't do it. What are you knocking for? You know he's gone. Well, Samus must open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Oh, well, that was to be expected. The situation's pretty tough on Samus. Doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. I think I have an idea. Are you just gonna yeet me through a window? Oh, there you go. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Didn't I already have Doc's notebook? Contains a lot of information and will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going to go back to the bar and reestablish communication with the others. What are you doing here? I told you. Going through the sewers is suicide. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, it's my papa's? Oh, wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Time will tell. That's not as helpful as I had hoped, quite frankly. Okay. 
Anything? Never noticed this digicode before. How did I miss it? It was behind a picture. I have no idea what the password could be. Of course not. I'm guessing it's 2311. No, that's a 5, not a 3. Holy cow, where did I learn to tell time? 252511. Look, open the window for the secret door for you. I've never seen this room before. I can't ma believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must have been for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but he needed a real-life test. He went out to the slums and he never came back. Um, can you build some stuff? Cause... Robot news headline. Zerks are officially no longer under control. Now they eat metal. Find anything interesting in here? Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of humankind eat all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. Like a flashlight. Don't actually know where I'm going. I'm guessing something in this box. No. Defluxer blueprint. Concept: light-based handgun, low priority. Visual appearance, size, decibel emitted, high priority, test in real condition, 20 zerk destroyed per second. Yeah, where'd you go, boy? There you are. Yes. I found this transmitter. It's broke, though. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used the tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it and find out where he went. I believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so that we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Yes, that's helpful. You know, since I'm lacking a both wolf thumbs and I just phased through the door, but cool. I'm gonna go get that tracker repaired. Let's show some folks in the slums. Maybe they can point us in the right direction. Rip humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It all seem, it seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? Now I know it's only coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Cat soda. Come back here, you. Um. Grab 
grandma clothing. Let's ask grandma. Oh, I can rub up against her. I do love knitting. So far I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Hey, Grandma. You ever seen this broken transmitter before? Um, yeah. Apparently, Grandma cannot help with that. You want something? Yeah, hey. You want to check out this broken transmitter? Trying to get it repaired? Go see Elliot. Just scratch on the... Scratch the door on your right and someone will let you in. Oh! Hey. Uh, Elliot's upstairs, is he not? There he is. Hey, Elliot, you bored? I got something, uh... Wow, that's great, a tracker. I recognize that model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget, may I? I know how to repair it. When I'm trembling, I can't use my keyboard. Uh, wait, what? When I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something. I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering. I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. So I need cable to go make a poncho. Did you got some cable? You're not going to let me in there, are you? Cable. I would kind of assume that there would be cables somewhere. Elliot's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore got passed down from our ancestors. If you want him to go back to work, you got to bring him some cloth. That'll butter him up. You're going to need to let me out. So it looks like at this point, we're going to need to find us some cable so that we can get a sweater. Barter man, super spirit laundry, grandma clothing, Elliot programming. Maybe Super Spirit? We'll have to check that out. But I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. I look forward to seeing you guys again in Stray. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves an amazing day. Bye.